Wait, before you go out shopping for another present that you know that they don't need, take a listen to these cruise deals of the week because you should probably just book them a trip instead. There's a lot of great things coming up in 2024 and we have found some of the best prices. So let's get into it. The pattern I'm seeing this week is a lot of great prices for the end of February, so this isn't too soon. You're not scrambling to get packed and to get your passports. Hopefully you already have those anyway if you're planning on taking a cruise anytime soon. First up, we've got a Carnival cruise leaving out of New York. It is a nine-day cruise leaving February 23rd. Nine days, that's right, and this is headed down to the Bahamas. It's gonna visit Miami, Freeport, and Nassau. It's gonna be a nice warm break from that gloomy northeastern winter so you're gonna want to hop on this cruise it is only a 489 per person base fare that's based on a two-person room capacity even after taxes and fees it's only $99 per person per day so that's a pretty good deal for a nine day cruise so you better jump on this one the Carnival Venezia oh, I love this next one this is a Greek Mediterranean cruise this is one that I'm dying to get on this is the celebrity infinity it is also leaving out at the end of February, February 23rd through March 4th. It is a 10 day cruise visiting all of the different Greek areas in the Mediterranean. Let's see here, we've got Thessalonica, we've got Ephesus, Cyprus, Rhodes, Crete. I mean, that's a stellar lineup for these destinations on this cruise. $5.98 base fare per person. That's based on a two room capacity. And when you break that down, after taxes and fees, this includes your taxes and fees. It's only $93 per person per day. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, if you've got your passport, I hope you're logging into Google Flights right now to see what flights are like, because if they are anywhere near decent, you need to be on this Celebrity Infinity Cruise. Ooh, okay, so another bucket list cruise I hear for a lot of people is a Panama Canal Cruise, and the Norwegian Sun has a Panama Canal Cruise leaving April 1st through the 19th. Yes, that's right, April 1st the 19th. I had to double check my notes because that seems like a long trip, but you are leaving from the Southeast of the United States, traveling all the way down through Panama and back up to the Northwest of the United States. But there's a lot of great stops along the coast of Mexico and Central America along the way. Um, it is $7.99 per person base fare, but with a trip that long, that means it is a 68% discount over the average fare, and that's 90 six dollars per person per day for a what for an 18 day cruise if you've ever considered a panama canal cruise i really think that this would be a great one for you on the norwegian sun a fan favorite is royal caribbean of course and we've got one on the jewel of the seas this is all the way in 2025 january 4th 2025 leaving out of galveston texas galveston is one of the ports that i've seen more and more cruise lines leaving out of recently so i'd hop on this one it is going to visit cozumel Costa Maya, Belize City, and Rotan. It is $4.86 per person base fare. That's based on a two room capacity. And that is a 58% savings over the average, $90 per day. Yeah, that, that includes your taxes and fees. I don't know of many vacations where you can spend just $90 per person per day and get everything that's included on a Royal Caribbean cruise. Jewel of the Sea, January, 2025. And you know me, if I don't include something Disney, I feel like I'm cheating you. I told you there was an end of February theme through March 2nd. This is a seven day cruise. It is going to be an ocean view, not an interior, an ocean view base fare of 1582. If you know what's included with a Disney cruise, you would know what great deal that is. And if you don't know what's included with a Disney cruise, then you need to reach out to the Vacationeer, vacationeer.com slash YouTube. Let's talk through this itinerary a little bit more because it's a good one. This is on the Disney Fantasy, leaving out of Port Canaveral, which is a really great location, located maybe 30 minutes from Orlando. So if you've ever considered doing a land and sea Disney vacation, this would be a really great one to do. Not only is this a Western Caribbean itinerary, this is also a Pixar Day at Sea cruise. Bo, what does that mean? 
These are special events that happen during the winter months on Disney Cruise Line. This means that your family will get to visit special Pixar characters aboard the ship when they're spending a whole day at sea. So you won't be torn between a day out on port, exploring and enjoying the beautiful ocean. You will actually get to spend the whole day on board doing fun activities with their favorite characters. My favorite thing about talking about Disney Cruises is that I get to tell you that we give onboard credit for Disney Cruises. We are gonna give you onboard credit just to say thank you for choosing to book your Disney cruise with us. So please let us know which cruise you want more information on. Disney, Carnival, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian. We've got a Panama Canal cruise. We've got a Greek Mediterranean cruise. We have a Pixar Day at Sea cruise. There are so many good ones to choose from this week. I'm really impressed by the deals that we were able to find. If this is close, but not quite the right dates, the right itinerary, let us help you search. This is what we're here for. We wanna do the heavy lifting so that you truly get to enjoy every moment of planning and taking your vacation. Vacationyear.com slash YouTube. We're gonna get you connected with your own personal agent who's gonna walk you through the entire process. If you have deals that you really are looking for, let us know down in the comments so we can be on the hunt for you. Thanks for joining us for Cruise Deals of the Week and we hope to see you again soon.